dead ball. There are times when a ball becomes dead. Some are automatic, others are down to the judgment of the umpire. Once the ball is dead, nothing can happen which affects the scores or the game until the ball becomes live again. Here are some common examples where a dead ball is automatic. The ball is automatically dead when it is finally settled in the hands of the wicketkeeper or of the bowler. This is effectively once everyone realises that nothing else can or will happen from that particular delivery. Or when a boundary is scored. Or a batsman is dismissed. Or when the ball becomes trapped between the bat and person of a batsman. Or between items of the batsman's clothing or equipment. Or even the clothing of an umpire. There are times when the umpire must decide whether a ball is dead. For example, when there is a serious injury. Or when, less seriously but no less distracting, the striker is put off by, say, a bird flying in front of his or her face. Quite reasonably, the umpire will signal a dead ball. There are indeed many instances in which an umpire may signal a dead ball. Too many to list here. If you're dead keen to know more about dead balls, you'll find everything you need to know in the Blue Book under Law 20.